Hi guys, what's up? It's Sarah and I hope you all are ready for today's video. It is going to be a hair and Halloween video all in one. I'm so excited. Dude, this hair, what the hell? Halloween is my favorite holiday and unfortunately this year it's pretty much ruined, but we're gonna make the best of it, okay? So I need my hair done for my costume that I wanna post on Instagram. So we're gonna still dress up this year and we're just gonna keep it low key. We're not gonna give out candy, not have a party. We're just gonna go have a nice dinner and be cute and dress up for Halloween. And that's what we plan on doing. My dog is crying, hang on. We're gonna go get our hair done first. This is what it looks like. Ooh, exposure. Come on. It is uh, rose gold. That's what we were going for. You can see the kind of pink blondie tint to it. So cute. We actually went like a hot pink color because the pink washes out very easily. It only lasts a few washes. This is after washing it two to three times. I can't quite remember, but this is what we get. We're gonna go hot pink one more time for my costume. Oh guys, this is an even extra special video here because it is sponsored my first sponsored video guys get excited get pumped i just want to thank anna louisa for sponsoring my first ever video thank you thank you thank you it's an awesome company that clearly supports small channels here know that i would never ever sponsor a video if i didn't believe in them or the product so you all know anna louisa is a jewelry company up here i have very expensive earrings these two down here though the lobes i get away with wearing cheaper jewelry because i can switch them out be fun but they talk tarnish within a month. Are you kidding me? Kidding me. So I've been wearing these down here on the lobe for a month, making sure they're good for y'all. They have not tarnished or got gunky in the least. I'm shook. I didn't know that existed. Where you could get not fine jewelry that didn't tarnish, they're also environmentally friendly. Did you hear that? Yes. They are trying to get a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020. That's amazing. We love that. They have pieces starting at $39. They also go up to fine jewelry. Yes, there's a piece for you there. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm sure I'll show you the close-ups as well. I got this safety pin earring. I've been dying to have this and I finally got one. And then I got this like huggy thing. It's like in between a stud and a hoop. So you get the look for both. I love dainty jewelry. They are currently running their big Black Friday sale. Those are the earrings I got. They're called Sia. And just look at all the freaking beautiful pieces. I'm gonna go buy me some more earrings because God knows I love earrings. See that? Totally carbon neutral. Oh my God. There's my other ones. I think they're called Cassie. Um, sorry, it's going quickly. And everything comes with the 365 day warranty. We love that. Yes. In the description box, I'm gonna leave the link to go check them out. Sorry, I haven't done sponsored videos before. This is very foreign to me. Okay, I have to go get my hair done. Okay, I'm running late. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Are y'all freaking excited? You gotta see the process. Let's go. So I just wanted to show y'all my hair before we get started. Don't judge it too hard because I know it looks a little crazy here, but I had just washed it about two days ago and threw it in a braid. She is throwing some bleach on a few pieces because she wants the color to pop and have dimension. And she didn't leave the bleach on that long at all. Pretty much as soon as she finished all the pieces, she made the color and then rinsed it right out.
now this is her mixing up the color um i thought i was gonna be able to give you a specific color she used but she makes her own cocktail of like five or six different colors but bless her little heart she ends up showing you exactly what the color looks like <laughs> Get ready. Are we living? Pose, pose. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, time for some hair porn. So we have step one complete. Poison Ivy hair. Next time I see you, we'll be doing the Poison Ivy makeup and putting it all together. I'll see you guys soon for me and five seconds for you. Time to become Poison Ivy. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. You'll be seeing this after Halloween, but no, I told you happy Halloween. We got the Halloween cat ears going on. All right, so I don't have much storage space, so I went ahead and did my base. If you're curious what base this is, just go watch my glow up video. It's the exact same thing. We're going to try and recreate this picture right here. Hopefully we can do it. The hair is gonna be crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I actually think I might try and wrap it around these ears or ears. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get crafty. I suck at hair. So hopefully it doesn't come out bad, but you know what? Let's get started. Guys, I needed a green eyeshadow palette. So I went to Ulta and look what I found. This is the new Harry Potter Ulta collab. I actually thought these were sold out, but when I went to Ulta, this was the last one they had. And guess what it was? Is that right side up? There we go. They had a Slytherin. Look at my nails. The snake even matches. So I believe this was about 30 bucks. Good luck finding it. Um, I got the last one, like I said. So let's open it up. I haven't even played with it yet. Oh my God. If you're a Harry Potter fan like me, I am actually a Slytherin. So it all works out. That's the question of the day. Tell me down below what your Hogwarts house is. Cause you know, we need to know who we are. Are you all surprised that mine's Slytherin? Like with Luca living in my head? Not that surprised, huh? <laughs> I don't believe someone is just like one house completely. Like, you know how Harry could be in Slytherin or Gryffindor? I believe I'm like in between a Hufflepuff and a Slytherin, like a Slytherpuff. I just made whole house for y'all. have a girly, sweet side to me, very nice to people until they're not nice to me or anyone I know, then I become a Slytherin. Or if I'm hungry and sleepy, I'm a Slytherin for sure. <laughs> so this is the palette. Let's go ahead and get the eyes going using my trusty brush, brown shade down here. And we're gonna make the crease pop out here. So in the picture, her makeup is not for this face, honey. So I'm not really gonna do my makeup like her. I'm gonna do my own interpretation. I'm gonna go into this top green shade here and we're gonna go over that crease. Now I'm going to take the same green and use a stiffer brush and we're gonna really get in the crease now to kind of do like a cut crease kind of action. We are taking it out just so it looks more dramatic. 
just keep laying and blending something good will happen i think that looks okay in person hopefully on camera it's not awful I'm going to align my under eyes with this brown here we're gonna lay this cream down here that way we get our fake cut crease In the box came this highlighter, but when I swatch it, it's giving me like champagne. So I might use my Fenty Gold highlighter just because I think it'll pop off. Okay, we're gonna use the OG Trophy Wife. I'm very glossy, but I want like a fun color. Um, so we're gonna see. I haven't worn that color in a minute and I forgot how strong it was, so I went real hard. It also came with this green liner. Cute little pot. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do the ends of my eyes with this green because I really wanna go in a black to make my eyes pop so I can wear lashes. But this is fun, let's try it. And you know what, I'm gonna pause it here because y'all don't need to see me put on liner and lashes. I know, I look crazy. Just give it a second. Let's see if we can grab a big chunk of our hair and try and wrap it around this i don't know if that's gonna work help someone help me <laughs> usually people have a wig that they can do this with me like no i'm just gonna dye my fucking hair sarah come on you can do this think hard I'm pretty sure it's absolutely horrible from the back. How's that? You know what? It's not the worst thing that has ever happened, I'm sure. <laughs> this is the hair that we got. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. <laughs> I don't know if putting the peak headband on was genius or not it because of this thing, but you know what? We have buns in our hair. We get the picture. I'm not getting these buns out by the end of the night though. As I choke on hairspray, <coughs> let's finish this up. I'm gonna take the Harry Potter and just see what it looks like. Wow, that's actually really pretty. We at least look like we're from the 90s, all right? I have these gold stones. I just wanna like jazz up my eyes a second. I feel like I look absolutely insane in the membrane. Like I'm looking at myself in a viewfinder and I feel like I look ridiculous. Hopefully I'm cute ridiculous though. Now we just need the finishing touch. girls this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed this little whatever the f it was <laughs>